hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel to the returning and the new subscriber you are welcome so today we're going to make um leggings okay so the length i'm using is 42 okay and i want the band to be three inches so i will subtract the three inches away from the lens okay so this is my starting line okay so i just place it this way and measure it to where i want it to get to right okay so so i'll just place my tip here and because i will use half an inch to join it to the band okay and the downside i will use to uh, 1.5 to fold it at the down parts so that means i'm adding two inches to it okay so 42 minus uh, three inches that is 39 okay so that is 39 39 plus two inches okay that is 41 so that is my 41 there so that is why I have 41 here. So that this is my line there. So for the because I want it to be high waist, right? So I so my hip divided by four. So the hip I'm using is 40, right? The hip divided by four that is 10. Okay, so we have three inches to it. Okay. So this is my 10 here. So the three inches that I'm adding to the band will be for the high waist here. So the from waist, okay, from waist to knee is twenty six. Okay, so I will subtract the three inches here, okay, to get my waist. So this is the twenty six. Okay, uh, waist to me 26. So this is for the hand. So now I will place all the measurements. Okay. So um, because it's stretchy, this is a stretchy fabric. Can you see? So I will take away one from each measurement I will taken. Okay. So the the waist is 35 okay 35 divided by 4 that is 8.75 so this is 8 8.75 here okay so i will take away one inch from the waist so it will be 7.75 Okay, and the hip is ten, so I, I will just I will take away one inch, so that would be nine. Okay, so this is my nine here, and then I will just mark it straight up, up here. So I'll just make so the crush. I'm making I'm making use of here is I want to make use of 1.5 well, to 2 okay because I'm cutting it together so I'm making use of two so I'll just make the cuff okay yeah yeah so I can take away the one hinge away from this side I'm still using the hip measurement sorry for confusing it here i'm still using the waist which is nine right nine so i'll place the nine here i'll just take away one inch for now okay one inch or yeah because the waist is an 8.75 right the waist is 35 divided by 4, that is 8.75. Okay, so I can place my measurement starting from this line. 
okay 8.79 which is here but i don't want it i want i want to take away one inch from it so that will be 7.75 here okay here so for the knee the knee is 15 rand divided by 2 that is 7.5 7.5 so i'll make it um i'll make it 6.5 okay so the down part around the ankle is so the ankle is nine i will not take away anything from that and it's, if it is free i can always reduce it well so i'll just place a 4.5 because i don't want it to be anyway it's tight anyway or well, can just take it with half an inch okay so that would be four right so the next thing is to just connect it okay yeah i connect it see so connect the handle to the nail okay and the nail to the crush line here okay but i don't want any i want this place to be uh, i don't want to sort this side so that is why i'm just leaving this side okay alone here maybe we can just take it away from this side okay so i'll just take it like this 7.75 from here and the way we first did it okay so i just connect it like this because this piece will be on so okay so now we'll cut it out so let's just go let me explain one more time okay so the length i'm using is 42 okay and i want it to have three inches band so i'm subtract three inches away from it okay so i added two inches to the length so i will use half an inch to join it to the band and i will fold the down part with 1.5 so the crush how i got my crush is if divided by four okay so this is the hip divided by four here okay but i want it to be highway so i added three inches to it so that's the th three inches will be the band so for the hip here okay this is the hip here the hip is because it's a stretchy fabric i'll be taking away one inch minus one inch from it so that is why i have nine here so i extend it by one point i extend it by two inches uh, two inches here so i make my crush line and why this place is slant is because of the waist. I place the place waist measurement here and I subtract it by one inch. So this is the round knee. I place the measurement. All measurements I am placing here is very tight. Okay, it's not loose. So I place the knee measurement as a part one inch. For the down part here, which is the down side, okay. I didn't take anything away from it. It's nine, and this is four point five. So the next thing I will do is just to cut it out and use the same thing and cut it out for the second part because this is into two. Okay. So I'll be adding zero point five all around. Okay, for the sewing, zero point five all around for the sewing or instead of taking one inch you can take 0 0.5 away from it it depends on the fabric you are using right so i'll just add 0 0.5 all around okay Zero point five just for the sewing so i've cut this out okay so the next thing i will do is to 
place this on another fabric, fold into two, and cut it out. So I've placed it on the new fabric, which is into two. So I'll just cut it out. The same thing exactly as the same thing, which is much easier, right? And it will be easy to sew as well. So everything is folded into four. Remember, we divide the hip and waist measurements into into four. We divided it divided them by four, right? Divided it by four. So just only the knee and the ankle is divided into two. So to have two here. So the next thing I will do is just reduce one of it. So I will reduce it by 1.5. Okay. So if I reduce it, that would be my for that would be for the front. So this is 1.5. I will connect it here. So the next thing is just cut this off. And that would be my what? That would be for the front parts. So the next thing I will do is to go ahead and sew now, which is going to be more. Oh, sorry, I didn't cut the leg. Okay. Okay, guys. So the next thing I will do, this is one of it. Okay. I will just go ahead and sew to the crush line it will stop here i'll just sew down from the crush line here to the down parts and it will be applicable to the second one too so guys have sewed it so if you don't have zigzag or um surgeon okay you can just sew twice like this Okay, just sew it twice so I can make it to be secure, you know. So the next thing now is to join this side and this side together, okay. The upper parts together. So this is how I will sew it. So I will just hold, hold this this way and sew. Can you see? Yeah, to the wrong side. So you can turn it to the right side. Can you see this is the right side now? Okay. And just hold it this way so that everything will be inside like this. Okay. And so it to the other side too. So now off. Can you see? The legacy is ready. Okay, so the we need to reduce the front because I made mistake. Okay, so it's better to join it together like this first before you reduce the front. Okay, because I made mistake, I reduce the first at the part. But the best way is to join it to this level. Okay, and just hold it. Not your side. Okay, this is my side here. Okay, and this is the other side. And just hold the two together this way. Yeah, you can now place it this way. And, and reduce it. Okay? So this will be my front now. Okay, so I want it to be reduced by 1.5, right? So the 1.5, I will connect it here. So it's better to join it to this level before you cut, cut out the front. Okay. So the front is lower now, while the back is higher. Can you see? 
So the next thing we do is to cut the band. So this is the band, okay? Remember, I subtract two inches, okay? So I will cut out four inches now, okay? I will cut out four inches. So the waist is 35, so I, I subtract one inch from it. So I have 34, five, four inches. So now I will cut it out. So the reason why I make my band four inches is that to join to the waist, okay, and to just join to the waist you can use three point five, right? And it's on fold, okay? Can you see it's on fold? And we may, and there will be half inches left because I want the. I want it to have always um remember the side i made a mistake so i want it to be high a little bit so the next thing i will do is to just join the side together okay join the side together so we'll be needing elastic one inch can you see so i cut out 30 inches so this is the band, right? So I'll put the elastic. Okay. I'll put elastic on one side like this. Okay, I'll just pin it at this side and pin it at the other side. So you just place the elastic like this first. Okay, before the middle parts, can you see? Hold it on it this way and use pin to hold it together. So I will try to the other side here and make sure the band are equal. Can you see? Equal here. And I will use pin to, to hold it together at this side. So you can just go ahead. Okay, you can still use pin, you know, to just push the elastic to the hedge like this. I go and sew it all through to the hand. Okay, to the hand here. And after that, I will sew this and join it to the leggings. So this is it. I fixed the elastic inside. Okay, can you see? So the next thing I will do is to just attach it to the leggings, to the band here. Okay, you can just first join this side together and attach it to this and our leggings will be fully ready so i also saw the down parts okay i didn't see the machine thread earlier i just saw it okay i just found the uh, the machine thread so i will just join the streets then first join the band together at the side before joining it to the main leggings. So to join it, I've joined it at the side, okay? So to join it mainly to the body, okay? So we, we have four side, right? One, two, where we notch, right? The side, three, and four. So this, I will just fold it into four also. Okay? Just make a uh, just shock it out, okay. So now I will just use pin to hold them together. Okay, so this is 
if you want this to be at the side or at the back okay so i'll just this is the back and this is the back here because it's higher so this will be for my back okay on the side here and this one to hold it together and the last one here so don't forget to subscribe like share and comment so now i'll just go ahead and sew it join everything together so I've drawn it to it. So if you have surgeon, you can just do the side, okay? If you have surgeon or zigzag. Okay, so now I'll put it on the dress form for you to see. To be sincere, guys, it fits perfectly. Okay? So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching. Bye.